uh, make a rough estimate of the thermal conductivity of helium at room temperature uh, discuss your result explaining why it differs from the value for air okay so let's use the model discussed in the section uh, Okay, uh, so for an average, uh, let's look up to see what's the uh, radius for a helium atom. Forty picometers, uh, so that's uh, one point. That, so that's one forty ten to the minus twelve, or one point four uh, times ten to the minus ten meters. From this, we can find the uh, mean free path. So we know from the discussion in the session based on what I explained before in the question before this one if you're interested listen to the argument how we get to the free mean path so uh, uh, we get L equal uh, V over 4 pi r squared n uh, we could replace uh, V over n f with the ideal gas law uh, we get V over N equals uh, K T over P so then uh, we get L to be uh, 1 over 4 pi r squared times V over N is K Boltzmann's constant times temperature divided by pressure uh, so we get 1 over 4 pi plug in the numbers this is R uh, K Boltzmann's constant I used here it's 1.38 10 minus 23 and that is in joules per Kelvin multiplied by the temperature this is room temperature so that's 300 Kelvin divided this here is meter square and uh, the pressure uh, is about let's just say atmospheric pressure so that's 1.01 uh, .01 times 10 to the fifth pascals or newtons per meter square And uh, so let's see, plugging this in, uh, we get 1.67 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Okay, uh, now, uh, so we found L, uh, we are trying to get to KT. Uh, we know the way the model describes the, the, the reason by the way I got L is because um, uh, as discussed in the section uh, KT thermal conductivity constant is equal to CV over uh, CV over V I believe one second yeah, CV over V, and there's a half here, so 2V um, times L times V. So, so far I have my L, that's why I went after the L. Uh, now, I would need my uh, root RMS speed, which is the root mean square speed. Uh, so, let's go ahead and find that. So, V RMS is equal to the square root of 3KT 
over m right and um, this is the mass of a helium um, so that's four helium is four correct amu uh, and uh, we need to figure this out in uh, in a mole uh, in in one mole so uh, in other words we would have to convert from amu to uh, kilograms uh, so let's do that so this is uh, uh, four atomic mass units uh, so uh, one second yeah so four uh, and we could multiply this by the conversion factor which is 1.6 uh, one second. Yeah, one point six six times ten uh, to the minus twenty four. That would take me to grams, but I need to go to kilograms, so uh, every uh, one ten to the minus three kilograms is one gram okay and so we would get so so I'm figuring out M here six point four times ten to the minus twenty seven kilograms uh, temperature is 300 Kelvin uh, so uh, plugging this in we will get for V 3 uh, 1.381 10 minus 27 joules per Kelvin times the temperature room temperature 300 Kelvin divided by uh, what we got for the mass Okay, plugging this in. Oh, sorry, this is minus 27 or 23, 23. Uh, this turns out to be one three nine three point six meters per second okay uh, now uh, we need CV over V right uh, we know that uh, CV that's the uh, heat capacity at a constant volume uh, as we derived it for an ideal gas in the section heat capacity at constant volume uh, this turns out to be the NK uh, sorry uh, NFK number of molecules times the degrees of freedom times K over 2 Okay. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, NK is nothing but uh, PV over T from the ideal gas law. So I could replace this with PV over T for, for these two. And then I have F over 2, the degrees of freedom. Right. And the reason I could do this is because I'm trying to get to the ratio. I'm not interested in CV. I could just go directly to CV over V equals PF over 2T. And
and so CV over V is the pressure uh, oh by the way so this is a monoatomic gas so it has three degrees of freedom so F equal three so this will be three times P P is times <coughs> 10 to the 5 uh, divided by 2 times 300 Kelvin this is Newton per meter square Uh, it's uh, 505 uh, this is uh, Newton per meter square Kelvin okay so plugging all this into the uh, this equation here uh, the green one to find the thermal conductivity so I would get KT is equal to uh, 505 over 2 uh, times uh, L times V L is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 7 and V is 1393.6 this is meters per second this is in meters and this was Newton I put the unit next to it on the side Newton meter square Kelvin Okay, plugging all this stuff in. I get for KT to be 0 0.057 actually 0 0.0587 and if you work out these units uh, you will come to watts per meter square Kelvin for the thermal conductivity uh, this concludes the problem